I want to talk to you about a miracle I really saw of Divine Mercy Chaplet. Few months ago, few months ago, I took a pilgrimage to Mexico, to Our Lady of Guadalupe. And I was so worried about people getting COVID. So I said, let me say Divine Mercy so that I can ask God's mercy to protect us. But I usually say it, and when I say it, I feel like I'm talking to my Lord, simple, you know, with many things in my mind I'm praying for. But this time I felt like I truly say this rosary from my heart because I was responsible of more than 40 people. And I knew that if anyone get COVID and test positive, they are going to have to spend 14 days waiting before they can come back. And that scared me to death. But yet I knew that Our Lady also told us, those who come to me, come with trust. I will protect you. So I thought, let me tell God for his mercy to please protect us. And I started praying. Just as I, I went through this part, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. I truly felt this time I was talking about us. Have mercy on us. I knew who I was talking about. It was my pilgrimage, our people in the pilgrimage. Have mercy on us, please, for the sake of your sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and the whole world. And I was thinking about, for the sake of your sorrowful passion, it had a new meaning to me. I felt as if Jesus paid a sacrifice for us. He suffered so that we can be saved. He suffered so that we can have hope and trust in Him and know that we have God who loves us and who protects us. So now I was telling God, reminding Him, please, for what He suffered, have mercy on us. I thought we, we have sinned as people and through our sins we deserve punishment. But by the sacrifice, with the sacrifice of our Lord, we have a chance to, to be forgiven. So I felt this is now what I was telling my father for the sake of his sorrowful passion, please forgive us and the whole world. Have mercy on us. And it had such a different meaning for meaning. And then when I went to the part, you know, where we the where there is mystery, usually to the tra the usual traditional rosary, when we say, I offer you the body and the blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for sins and those of the whole world. This now, I felt like I was talking to the Father, truly humbled to my knees, and I was giving him a pure sacrifice of his son. I offered the body and the blood, soul and divinity, all of it offering to the Father, his son, who gave a perfect sacrifice in atonement for sins and those of the whole world. Yes, we want God to give us mercy, and he will always forgive us. But we have to atone also for our sins. That's why we go to confession and they give us a you know, prayer to say at the end for the sacrifice. But this one, I feel like I was telling God, now instead of my prayers to offer you not so good, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son that are so much more perfect than any sacrifice I can offer in atonement for sins and those of the whole world. I felt I was doing enough penance, but I was offering his son in penance instead of my own penances that are not good. So for him to have mercy on us that we will be protected on this pilgrimage, I offer him his sacrifice of his son instead of so that we will not have to offer the sacrifices of us, like one of us getting sick, because sacrifices are always necessary. And our little things we do to offer to God, our suffering we go through, our fasting, our many little things, sacrifices we have to do to offer to God for the atonement of our sins, but to save souls too. So I just wanted to tell you, Divine Mercy Chaplet is amazing, it's so beautiful. Please say it from your heart and you'll be amazed how beautiful it is. And actually, we got the miracle, nobody got sick. I was getting up three in the morning and I was said the Divine Mercy Chaplet on my knees. Again, as a leader of a pilgrimage, I was praying for everyone. So please say it, Divine Mercy Chaplet. God bless you.